not unusual for media organisations to apologise when they get things wrong. Now, I know it's rare, but it's certainly not unusual, which is why the informer is apologising to the former Health Minister, Jenny Makakos. Ms Makakos was labelled as incompetent, not up to the job. And as we know in this business, and certainly in politics, perception is a big thing. But it was a perception that was created by the Premier, Daniel Andrews. As Health Minister, Jenny Makakos was meant to be central to the strategic decision making around COVID. Well, it's now clear she may have been a patsy. As it appears, the Premier was the one actually in control of the health portfolio's levers, not Mikakos. And as every day passes, we're learning something new and quite different about this dog's breakfast that has engulfed Victoria. And on Sunday, that's last Sunday at the Premier's presser, we learned through a rather subtle reference that Daniel Andrews had been the one driving the health portfolio. And Sunday was also the day that Victorians had hoped that they would see an easing of the restrictions and a lifting of the lockdown. But it never came. It was a Sunday too far away for Victoria, strangled by the Premier's so-called curious or cautious pause. It was more, a, I think, a reinforcement of the Premier's lack of faith in Victoria's contact tracing system. And it's also why Victoria has lagged well behind every other state in the management of COVID and why the others have been able to live through it, and again, why Victorians have been locked down for months. Will Victorians be able to manage it the way that New South Wales has managed, or every other state has managed to do? Well, we'll have to wait and see. And why are Victorians still under restrictions? And why is its contact tracing team still operating as if it was the 1980s and 90s? The Premier has been running the health portfolio and very much dictating the strategic health policy of Victoria. So it hasn't been Makakos after all. Ms Makakos was Daniel Andrews' stooge. He knew that while he was the puppeteer, that Makakos would be his puppet. And she would also play the role of fall guy. And Victorians would see her as the villain. The woman who helped destroy Victoria and that shield that would protect its premier. Ms Makakos, you see, was expendable and the Premier didn't care how it would impact on her mentally, emotionally or even professionally. He simply didn't care and it's shown. Almost daily, Ms Makakos has had to endure the harsh criticism of the informer and other media organisations. While Daniel Andrews has managed to sit in the background, controlling the narrative, making these strategic decisions, all implausible, catastrophic, nonsensical. And it was Jenny Makakos who was left to look a fool and to take the fall for his incompetence. Ms Makakos was the Premier's punching bag. She endured the criticism and the ridicule for decisions that she may never have been making. She was the so-called, if I may use a sporting analogy, dope in Daniel Andrews' very own rope dope Just as George Foreman had been Muhammad Ali's dope in the famous 1974 Rumble in the Jungle in Zaire, that classic fight between Muhammad Ali and George Foreman. If anything, we have come to understand is just how dirty the game of politics can be, how sinister the machinations of leadership can appear, and the evil intent that exists behind it. Ms Makakos was unfairly maligned and her reputation impugned. A woman set up and condemned for mistakes and decisions she may never have made. Now, if certainty was a word that didn't bring its own set of challenges, then it would be the word we can safely assume to be confident of using. Ms Makakos would have been under extreme pressure to toe a line that she may never have believed in, and more than likely was overruled by the Premier and Cabinet. We've come to learn many things over the past few weeks. Ms Makakos isn't the villain that she's been portrayed to be. Ms Makakos has shown herself to be a woman of immense integrity and deserving of an apology for the harsh criticism and characterisation that she has received in that time. Now for that, in the part that we played, Minister, the team at The Informer sincerely apologises.